Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a palette that I didn't get to play a lot with and I didn't feel like I had been able to go ahead and actually uh, do some looks that I wanted to with it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I did start with the True Match by L'Oreal and I mixed uh, shade C1 and shade uh, C2.5 to go ahead and uh, get my shade today and uh, yeah I'm finding that the shade range they have 47 shades and I'm really liking the fact that I can mix and match and that um, yeah they're running usually I think I get mine over at Target and they're about nine dollars so I'm really liking that fact and then um, as far as what I've got on for lips today, I have one of the Koki Kissables on and the NYX Butter Gloss Bling in the Peach. Uh, the Butter Gloss has the glitter in it. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I did for bronzer today, I used one of the NYX Buttermilk Bronzers. This one is all buttered up. And um, it has a little bit more red. It's the second to the lightest shade. And that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use the LYS as far as the blush today. This one's in Kirby. And um, it's one of their newer cream blushes. I uh, went ahead and used Tree Foils by Hard Candy for my highlighter today. This is actually part of the Girl Scout collection that Hard Candy did this spring. And I topped it off with some of the Unusual Beauty. Uh, this is their highlighter palette. You can get this one on Timu. And um, I did go ahead and use this one as first the highlighter today. And then as far as what I used for the eyeshadow, I did go ahead and get out the Dream Gaze by Alter Ego. And this one is actually the Pastel Palette. Uh, this one and Mystique are both based off of Natasha Denona palettes. Mystique is actually the darker palette. And it's, um, I think it's based on the one that ends in Loco, like Circus Loco. Uh, this one is based on the Pastel palette. And so uh, I don't have Mystique, but I'm pretty sure that if you wanted a companion palette, the Dream Gaze would be a really good companion palette to Mystique. It would probably give you a whole um, pastels and darker colors and probably be a whole rainbow. If you were looking to go ahead and get a rainbow uh, palette or get a couple of palettes to make a rainbow palette. And then um, as far as I went, what I went ahead and did today, um, as far as like right below the brow, I went ahead and used uh, this color, this color, and this color. On the um, outer corner, I went ahead and used this color. I used this one on the inner color or on the inner corner. And then right in the center of the lid, I went ahead and used a combination of the yellow and the white. So basically I've used uh, these two, yeah, these two columns and the yellow today. And um, what I've been finding is that with pastels, I'm having to go ahead and build them up. That um, with any of the pastel palettes, I'll spend a whole time or a whole bunch of time building them up because they just don't have the oomph right away. This palette does go ahead and build, so you can go ahead and do that with it. Again, I haven't really found a pastel palette that I didn't have to build, but I did go ahead and use the Emride eyeliners as well. I used these two, and this is the way that the look turned out. So that's the way that that turned out. And I think it's very pretty. Um, it's summertime, so I think you can really do a look like this, and it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it's pretty bright, and I kind of like that. So uh, that's the look for today, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll go ahead and see you later. Bye.